Okay, scientists have uh, reversed aging in mice and uh, via uh, via the cells in the mice, uh, I guess. We're going to take a look at an article, but I wanted to show you. Um, this is from BibleStudy.org. And we know in, in the times prior to the flood, uh, Adam lived 930 years, probably a little bit small. Um, hope you can see that. But Adam lived 930 years, and uh, uh, Seth uh, lived 105 years. Uh, sorry, um, at the birth of Enosh, he was 105 years. He lived 912 years. Uh, Enosh lived uh, 905 years. And uh, it goes on to Jared uh, was uh, alive uh, 962 years. And Methuselah, of course, 969 years right there. Before the flood, people were living a very, very long times. And prior to initial sin by Adam in the garden, <coughs> people were built to live forever and so uh, once they did sin uh, then the curse uh, the curse of sin came down on man and then his years uh, decreased very quickly and especially after the flood um, they decreased to about you know, 120 years and below you know 80 to 120 but what I want to look at here this is telegraph.co.uk scientists reverse aging in mammals and predict human trials within 10 years an end to gray hair and crow's feet could just be 10 years away after scientists shows showed it's possible to reverse aging in mammals. <clears throat> and this is related to the end of the world because I'm going to explain it shortly. Using a new te technique which takes adult cells back to the embryonic form, U.S. researchers uh, in California, Salk Institute in California, showed it was possible to reverse aging in mice, allowing the animals to not only look younger but live 30% longer. The technique involves stimulating four genes which are particularly active during the development in the womb. It was also uh, found to work to turn the clock back on human skin cells in the lab, making them look and behave younger. <clears throat> this is a proof uh, that humans could live 900 years uh, because God knows which cells, which parts of the DNA uh, triggers aging and can prevent aging and prevents uh, regenerative uh, growth. So the scientists are finding nothing new here. God know knows this. That's why humans were living 900 years. So if you don't believe that humans lived 900 years before uh, in the Bible, then look at these. Uh, look at what the scientists are doing to mice um, uh, in the lab here, and uh, they are absolutely doing that. And how does it relate to the end times? Well, just quickly, um, God is not going to let humans live uh, infinitely uh, anymore on this world, on this planet, and He's probably not going to let them get to the point where they're living 900 years. I don't even think we have that much time left. Um, but He's going to return before scientists really um, change the DNA, change the cells. Uh, too much because um, we will get a bit there because as in uh, the Bible says as in the days of Noah so shall the coming of the Son of Man be and in the days of Noah there was uh, gene manipulation there was uh, uh, you know mutant half human half animals hybrids um, Nephilim uh, gods that came down uh, to sleep with the daughters of man and so there were um, uh, demigods demi uh, and uh, you know half God half human and this is where you get the Hercules and uh, all the Greek myth uh, gods uh, from. And so we're going to see some of this. Uh, but God's not going to let it go too far. Um, he's going to come back and stop that. Just like, it, like he did in the days of Noah when he brought a flood to deal with all the sin and all the, the manipulation of the, the gene code um, back in Noah's day. He's going to come before this gets too far. But yes, the Bible is true. People did live 900 years over 900 years and this is proof uh, from science that uh, men did live 900 years and it's t t completely possible to live that long um, if you switch on and off the correct genes the correct cells whatever and also I mean the environment uh, matters too they had a much nicer and a much better cleaner environment with higher oxygen levels etc during that time so that plays into it but there's also triggers switches uh, flags in the body which you can turn on and off and obviously God knows it because he made us um, so yes the human body can live uh, 900 years in fact the human body God originally made us to live forever and, and if uh, Adam and Eve didn't sin in the garden uh, our human bodies would just keep regenerating and uh, that's what they've proven in this in the lab in science and that proves the Bible thanks for watching guys we'll see you in the next video